All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Lewis structures to represent atoms. So when we draw a Lewis structure, generally, the chemical symbol of an element represents the nucleus and the core electrons of that element. And the valence electrons of the element are shown as these dots that we place around the chemical symbol. So notice that as an example, let's say uh, we want to do the Lewis structure for nitrogen. Well, the electron configuration of nitrogen is 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. Nitrogen has seven electrons, but it has five electrons in its valence shell, which is the n equals 2 shell, where uh, n is the principal quantum number. So to represent the valence electrons of nitrogen, well, there's going to have to be five around here. So I'll play some, say like that. That is a legitimate Lewis structure for uh, nitrogen. And one of the rules when you when you place the dots around uh, around the four sides of this uh, chemical symbol is you want to have a maximum of two valence electrons or a maximum of two dots per side. So it doesn't really matter uh, what order you pair them in. It just matters that you have a maximum of two dots uh, per side. So for instance, uh, you know, say if I were to draw the nitrogen a different way, the Lewis structure for nitrogen a different way, uh, suppose I wanted to draw it like, I don't know, N like this. That would be uh, that would be perfectly legitimate, just like this one. Uh, there's really no significance to where you place the dots, so long as there's a maximum of, maximum of two on each side. Uh, however, if I wanted to do a you know Lewis structure like this, nitrogen, and then have three over here, and then two over here, or something, or three of them over there, and then one here, and one here, uh, that would be that wouldn't be a legitimate Lewis structure because there are now three dots on one side. So uh, I guess let's just start by uh, going over um, the Lewis structures. Well, let's go ahead and do the uh, period one elements first. Those are, those are pretty easy. So the period one uh, elements, those are hydrogen and helium. And hydrogen and helium have electron configurations of 1s1 and 1s2, respectively. So notice that the valence shell here is the uh, is the or the only shell here the only electron shell is the n equals one shell. So in this case, hydrogen has one valence electron, and in this case, helium has two valence electrons. So we can place them as such. I'd like to stress again for the record that there's no significance to the dot placement. I could have done it like this too. Those are both perfectly legitimate. Helium is actually uh, an interesting case because uh, the valence shell is actually full of electrons in this case. And there's a certain degree of, uh, of stability associated with a valence shell that is full of electrons. And this is what we call uh, a noble gas electron configuration. So we say that helium has a noble gas electron configuration. And because this noble gas electron configuration that helium has uh, consists of two electrons, we call it a duet. So uh, now let's get into the uh, the period two uh, elements and see if we can draw Lewis structures for all those as well. So in period two, uh, what do we have? We have st we start with lithium, and then beryllium, and then boron, and then carbon, and then nitrogen, and then oxygen, and then fluorine, and then neon. 
Almost forgot it. That would have been pitiful. Anyway, these are the period two elements. So uh, I'm not really going to write down all the electron configurations, um, but I'm, I'll, I'll say them out loud. So the uh, the electron configuration for lithium is uh, 1s2, 2s1. So actually, I might as well go ahead and write it at least on this first one here. So we have 1s2, 2s1. Notice that the n equals two. That's our valence shell. So these two uh, these two electrons in the 1s shell don't count, or in the 1s orbital don't count. Uh, so there's only one valence electron here. So that is placed like that. And we treat beryllium in the same manner, only beryllium is actually 1s2, 2s2. So two valence electrons now, remember, because this thing is the valence shell, this 2s, this n equals 2 shell. So two valence electrons. Uh, boron, that has a configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p1 when this whole shell is the valence shell. So there's three valence electrons here on boron. Carbon has 1s2, 2s2, 2p2, so four valence electrons. Nitrogen, 1s2, 2s2, 2p3, so that means we got five valence electrons. And I'm sure you can see the pattern. We will have six valence electrons here. We will have seven here. And on neon, we will have eight. So notice that uh, for the neon atom, we have a configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 and the valence shell has eight electrons and neon is a noble gas and it, it also has a noble what we call a noble gas electron configuration which means that it has a full valence shell if i wanted to put another electron on this thing it would have to go into a um, into a 3s orbital because the n equals 2 shell is now full of eight electrons and remember the stability of that is what we call the noble gas electron configuration and in this case, that noble gas electron configuration consists of eight electrons, so we call that an octet. So the octet rule, uh, I guess become familiar with it. It just means that there's a certain stability associated with having uh, eight electrons surrounding an atom. And we can apply that to uh, chemical bonding. Uh, I'm not going to apply it to chemical bonding in this video. I will end the video and then I'll start up with that in another video. But uh, the, the good thing about Lewis structures is that it, it, it sort of gives you a, a you know a good visual way to to see how the orbitals fill up I, in, in, in in the sense that uh, this neon atom there's nowhere I can put a dot. You know, I, all the all the sides of the dot, there's a maximum of two dots per side, and there's only four sides, so I can't really fit another dot anywhere in this without violating the, the laws of how to, you know, write a Lewis structure, at least for period two elements. So, you know, notice that when I run out of dots, I also run out of electrons to populate the n equals two shell. So, once you get into the higher, uh, once you get into the higher, um, electron shells after the n equals 2 shell uh, then it becomes uh, more than an octet you have what's called an expanded octet which I will go over in uh, another video but this is just a you know fairly straightforward video on how to do Lewis structures for individual atoms